Hi everyone, so it's a bit of a different kind of video today. Um, I've been asked to do a video about my eyesight, <clears throat> um, my glasses, my prescription, that kind of thing. Um, but I thought I would combine with testing um, contact lenses. So if you don't want to hear about my eyesight and my prescription and stuff like that, then skip through um, and then the next part will be um testing contact lenses from vision direct um so just a bit of background um i've had glasses since i was five six i was one of those kids that had an eye patch um to kind of like tree my eyes i think i have a, a lazy eye um but from right from the very beginning um my prescription's been really strong um so i am currently um in both eyes uh plus 6.75 um so it is really strong and i have um thick glasses um so my glasses are um from specsavers and i've always gone to specsavers since i was young so i think it's just you know a habit thing um they know my eyes and and whatever so have never changed um my glasses can be expensive because um obviously you, you pay for the frame and the normal lenses anyway um but because my prescription is so strong i have to have them uh thinned down twice um i used to have quite thick glasses um and it was really obvious that they were really strong but now um i do get them thinned down twice so they're still thick um i will show you um as you can see the lens is really thick um still um i can't see anything without my glasses on um so it does make things a little bit difficult sometimes but you get used to it obviously you know um you kind of learn to adapt uh, so I can do my makeup and, and all that kind of stuff. I use a Maximize mirror, um, which is like my holy grail. I've had it for about 20 years. Um, this dirty thing from um, John Lewis. Yeah, I've literally had that 20 years. Um, so yeah, you just kind of learn to adapt, obviously. Um, now, contact lens wise, because I've always worn my glasses, I'm so used to wearing them. And I think I suit them more than what I look like without my glasses on. Um, bear in mind though, I can't actually see what I look like properly without my glasses on because I need my glasses to see my face. So yeah. Um, so about 10 years ago, I did a trial for contact lenses. Um, it wasn't really a, a well-known um, shop. It was kind of one of those little boutique opticians um, where I live. So I went there, um, they tested my eyes um, and put put me through for a trial. Um, so it took about two or three weeks for them to be made. Um, bear in mind, this is 10 years ago. So, you know, things have definitely changed um, over the years. Um, but yeah, so they, they took a while. Um, and then, so while I was at work, um, it was down the road from where I worked at the time. So I uh, went to go and get them in the morning. They said, see how you get on at work. Um, see if you, um, you know, you can see how you are with them. Um, everything was going fine. I can remember that I was, I was kind of trying to get used to not having my glasses on. And it was definitely dist distorted. Is that the right word yet? Um, Obviously, because I'm so used to having um, my glasses in front of my face and when you wear glasses, you can't see below the glasses or at the sides or at the top, but you get used to that. So it's like tunnel vision, um, but you get used to it. So seeing everything kind of like 360 mode was a bit strange. Um, but anyway, so I c from what I can remember, um, I could see fine. Everything was going OK. But then in the afternoon, it started to deteriorate a little bit. Um, 
and I was due to go back before five o'clock to, you know, go back and tell them how it went. Um, so yeah, it kind of got a bit blurry towards the end of the day. And then I can remember uh, leaving the office to go back to the shop. And um, there was there's a couple of little junction roads uh, in between my office and the shop. Um, so I got to the first one and uh, I didn't see the car coming and walked out into the road. Um, obviously the car beeped, the car didn't hit me, thank God. Um, I didn't actually get run over. Um, but yeah, the car beeped at me. I stopped, had a bit of a panic about it. Um, carried on going to the shop and basically said, you know, obviously I can't see very well because I just nearly got run over. Um, so that was the end of that. I never tried again. Um, I've been so used to wearing my glasses all these years. It hasn't bothered me. Um, and it's just the way that it is. So a couple of people were asking about my prescription and that kind of thing. I hope that I've covered everything that you wanted to know. Um, and the next part, I will go through um, this, this trial. So um, I am uh, a subscriber of Look Fantastic. So in this month's subscription box, um, I did get this leaflet, which is um, a free trial for visiondirect.co.uk. I will li link it down below as well. Um, so they do have their own offer on at the moment. I did notice on the website. Um, so even if you've not got this with a code, they do have their own uh, free trial going on at the moment as well. Um, so on the leaflet, it was um, a free contact lens trial. Uh, you can get two free trial packs of Everclear Elite which is their best dailies. Um, so as far as my contact lens knowledge goes, that means that you wear them for one day and then you wear the next one. Um, so on here, it says no subscriptions or nasty direct debits. Order by 11.45pm and get your contacts the next day. Um, and then it's got a code on there for how to claim um, for free as well. Um, now it does say get two free trial packs of Everclear, so I thought that that just meant um, maybe one or two days. It is actually 10 days, so you get five in a pack. Um, so yeah, it's two free trial packs, so you do get 10 lenses, which obviously you do need two eyes. Basically, I went on the website and um, put in my prescription. Now my prescription is about two years old. Um, I am supposed to go every two years to have my eyes retested, but with my age and how long I've had my glasses, um, they're not really going to change much now. Um, they're not really going to get any better. They might um, slightly, but um, generally they'll be the same now. Um, so yeah, so I put my prescription into the website. Um, all I had to do was pay for delivery, which was £3.98. Um, and it is next day delivery. So I ordered at, I think about 9 p.m. on Sunday and then they arrived on Monday morning. So it was really quick. Um, considering 10 years ago, it took two to three weeks for my contact lenses to be made. Um, that's pretty good going. So this is the packaging. Um, obviously it says Vision Direct. The brand is AccuView. Oasis brand contact lenses um, with Hydroclear Plus and UV blocking, it says on there as well. So, I'm actually going to give it a go. I'm scared though. If you, um, if you squeamish and you don't like people touching their eyeballs, then I suggest that you don't watch the rest of the video because I can only imagine that is what the rest of the video will be. Okay, so in the box, we've got Everclear Elite One Day Five Contact Lenses. It's a silicone hydrogel in there as well. So there's five in a pack. Oh my God. Um, obviously the other one. See, I'm not sure whether you would have, like one is for one eye and one is for the other eye because my contact lenses are um ah see it does actually say at the bottom it's got a right eye and a left eye 
tick box. They've not been ticked because my prescription is the same for both eyes. So yeah, that makes sense. Okay, so that's what it looks like. But I just said, oh, because they've put a pack of Haribo Tang... <laughs> what are they called? Tang Fastics in the box. That's so random, but so cute. So there we go. I'm nervous. Are you nervous? Okay, the only thing I would say, actually, which I forgot to mention, when I put my prescription in, bear in mind my, my prescription is a couple of years old and it can get slightly better. When I was putting the prescription in, I'm not sure why, but they didn't have 0.75 of um, the, you know, prescription, the numbers. So basically they went up like 5, 5.5, 5 6, 6.5, 7. So I am a plus 6.75. Um, according to Specsavers, that is what my prescription is. So um, I'm not sure why I forgot to mention that. Yeah. So, so what I had to do is I did have to get a plus 6.5. So to show you there, because my prescription is a couple of years old, that a plus 6.5 would probably be all right. Hopefully nobody shouts at me for that. I could be really wrong, but... Um, okay, so it says on the back, five high quality contact lenses with blue tint, 47% water, 53% olefacolon B in buffered saline. Do not use if blister is damaged or seal is broken, obviously. I didn't need to read that bit out here. Um, I was just hoping that they had instructions in the box, but they don't. I mean, I know it's pretty obvious. You just kind of hold it and then put it in your eye, but I'm a noob with these things, so I don't actually know. But I'm scared. Okay. He's probably got instructions on the inside. Oh, it has. Okay, so you can rip the box open. It's got instructions on the inside of the box. But, um, oh, it's got a leaflet as well. I take it back, I take it back. The Everclear Elite Silicone Hydrogel Soft Contact Lens are daily wear single-use contact lenses. Once removed, they are to be discarded. They are not intended to be cleaned and disinfected. You should always carry a spare pair of lenses or glasses with them. They are different from the rigid contact as they are more soft and flexible. The lenses may slightly block UV light but cannot protect eyes as UV protection equipment does. The information and instructions apply only to Everclear Elite Silicone Hydrogel Soft Contact Lens. For your eye health, it is important to wear your lenses as prescribed by your eye care practitioner. It is also important to keep your eye care practitioner fu fully aware of your medical history. La 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 la. Ooh, nice. I'm really scared. Okay, has anyone ever watched someone put contact lenses in for the first time before? I mean, I really still don't understand what I have to do. How to hold it? Okay, <clears throat> actually, I need my glasses on to actually see if it's the right way. Okay, this isn't going very well. <laughs> How are you supposed to turn it upside down? So it comes in like a little... A little package like this. But it's already the wrong way. anyone has any um, tips on how to do this and let me know because that was absolutely that was a nightmare hopefully it doesn't drop while I'm trying to do this because I can't actually see it and it's dropped how are you supposed to do this <clears throat> maybe I should have practiced before I did a video about it It's not sticking to my eyeball. Oh my God, that's so weird. Oh. 
Okay, I can see out of one eye, not the other. Uh. Oh my god, my eye is watering. It's probably not helping that I've only got one in. But guys, I'm basically crying. What, put outtakes on yeah. it? <laughs> I'm crying though, my eye's crying. Yeah, but you just struggling. Uh, but how am I supposed to put the other one in now when I can't see out of one eye? I can't put my glasses on because I won't be able to see out of that eye because it's got a contact lens in. Never look at it. It's in that one. Yeah, but what's in that one? Nothing. Then why are you holding that one? Because I can't see out of that one, so it's just thought in it. I, I, don't, I don't get So I'm screwed now. I can't put my glasses on. I can only do things with one eye because I can see out of this eye. So why don't you put the other one in that one? Because I can't see it. I've got all... Oh, every time I open my eye, that hurts. It's, it's how, long you, how long have you been sat there for? Like that? To be honest, a while. <laughs> but I've actually got to do it with one eye. Yeah. Right, so this is the other one. I think I've done these before. Have you? Yeah. This is recording. Yeah, I want to be on it. Oh, my God. You'll be, be watching it tomorrow. Be a VIP guest. <laughs> you are moo moo. Okay. Okay, that's all. Okay. Off. So the, the worst part about it for me was how to get it on my finger because it's upside down. Can you not drain the water? No, no, don't do that. Why, if you I do, don't know why, but... So grab it in and dip it like a pinching. Yeah, but it's upside down, isn't it? Yeah, but pinch and grab. I don't know. Honestly, it's the most epic fail video ever. Yeah, I know. Here's how to put contact lenses I in. Think, I think this this is about a this one of you attempting. <laughs> yeah, but you you are blind as a bat. How would you expect to put contact lenses in unless you do them both at the same time? I know, I feel like I should have practised it. Do you see what I mean, though? So it's yeah. got to go on my eye that way. And so I have to hold it on my finger underneath, but it's inside now. Maybe I should just have one eye. Maybe I should get an eye patch. Be, be a pirate. Be a pirate, yeah. Like your cat. Like my cat, yeah. You see what I mean? I can't touch it if I could just like... No, you can't touch it. Flist and, flick and twist. Ah! Ah, ha, ha! Right. Is it still there? Mm. See, I don't think I'm opening my eye wide enough. No. That's part of the issue. You've got little eye, eye sockets, haven't you? Yeah. You're not even holding your eyelid, that's why you're holding your eyebrow. Because <laughs> I've got mascara on, I don't want to. It's one thing. I can't even. <laughs> oh my god, you that looks so funny. <laughs> Them? Can they go to the back of your... Oh my good god. Can they go to the back of your eye? See, I think I can see, but I'm not sure. So I think um, the prescription's right. I'm not sure if this one is in or not. I've got all panda eyes now. Do you know what? I was being a bit overdramatic. It wasn't that bad. I don't know if I can see or not. I mean, I can. I can see myself in the mirror. Without my glasses on, which I've never done before. But it is a little bit weird. I don't know. Like, it's just a little bit blurry. I don't know if it's because I have just poked myself in the eye technically like 17 times. So it is a bit blurry. I'm not going to lie, I want to blink. It's getting a bit blurry. I'm not sure if... It's the right prescription, to be fair, um, because I couldn't do the plus 6.75. Um, but I can definitely see um, a lot better than when I uh, don't have my glasses on. Um, it just feels very strange, as expected, for wearing contact lenses for the first time in 10 years. Um, but anyway, I would rate the company. Um, in terms of pricing and stuff like that, I'll put everything down below. They're quite inexpensive, so um, if you're looking for contact lenses, it'd definitely be worth having a look at. 
Um, like I said, they are doing their own free trial at the moment anyway, so it's definitely worth trying. Um, but uh, I think the video is wonky now. Um, that is how I feel. And um, I'm going to leave it there. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you in the next video.